Hey, what's up, Internet? Back in the shop, doing a little bit of work on the Star Destroyer model for the kids' Star Wars movie. The difference between a really nice model and a really nice studio scale model like you see in movies really is lighting. Interesting factoid about the original Star Wars, that Star Destroyer model wasn't lit. But I guarantee you that anytime you ask somebody what a Star Destroyer looks like, they're going to say something about hundreds of twinkling little lights all over it. Pretty much any really nice studio scale model has some sort of intricate lighting job to give it a sense of scale and give it a sense of life. What we really want to do is light the model nicely and I, I was looking at a couple of different ways to do it um, and what I kept coming back to was the way that models tend to be lit which is fiber optics but I'm kind of cheap so my instinct was to go and try and find some things to do it uh, inexpensively and and not use any more material than actually needed for this so what I've come up with is this so this this delightful thing uh, was about three bucks at the dollar store it's literally just called like a fiber optic decoration uh, it ch changes colors which is not really something that I want. I'm going to kill the overhead light here for a sec to show you. So this is not exactly what I want to happen, especially this green color. What it does do is it gives me a bunch of fiber optics uh, and some lights real cheap. Now, again, I don't want the color. I just want beautiful white lights. So also at the dollar store, I've had these kicking around for a little while, and it's just a little... LED lamp. There are five LEDs in it, a um, little switch to turn it on and off, and it runs off battery. So this this is zero cost, but I think it was a dollar or a dollar fifty. I think I've got what I need, so I'm going to quickly take these things apart and do a, an inventory on the parts that I have uh, to turn them into a lighting rig for the ship. So the idea is, we'll bundle the fiber optics together, we'll glue them in place uh, onto an LED, and there we are. We have some little teeny window lights, which is awesome. There we go. All right, let's put the power aside for a second and take a look at this little circuit board of five LEDs. It's gonna take a little while. The nice thing about this experiment is that I have a few more of these so I can kind of mess around and make mistakes if I want. So I'm using the sanding end Hopefully you can see the difference between this one here with the sanded off top and the others. I can actually go quite down so that it's closer to the diode. I don't know, I'm not sure why there's all this extra plastic on the LEDs themselves. Let's take it down a little more. It's kicking up a lot of dust, I need a mask. Put my goggles on when I started, but I don't want to breathe any of this in. Okay, take a look. So that is more along the lines of what I want. Let's do the other ones. Whoa. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna strip out the end of the wires here, get some exposed contacts, and then see if I can just tape them in a place briefly. 
see if a little bit of contact will be enough to do a test and make sure that I haven't uh, totally destroyed these LEDs. Where did I cut this off? There we go. So if I forget, if I forget, remind me. I've got a red mark and a blue mark. And that shows me where the wires go. Let's just double check. Okay, so I, I totally screwed up where these wires go. I got it like upside down and backwards. It was so wrong. So check it out. I took this apart. This was the battery and the button. So there's the battery case. Here's the wires. And here's the light from it. See? Yeah, and see how I sanded down the tops of all these with the Dremel? Yeah. So that means we have a flat surface now to glue everything onto. Let's solder onto the end here. I don't know if this is hot enough yet. Oh, there it is. See? Whoa. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of solder on here. Whoa. That does. Yep. And now, can you hold it a bit further up, please? Okay, so there's one. Cool, but why'd you put it in that thing? Uh, so that I don't put it down. Oh, okay. Why is it? And now the blue you... one goes here. Think? Yeah. You see, I marked it with blue on the edge. Okay. So we'll do the same thing. We'll put a little bead of solder on the end here. That, was, that was much cleaner. Look at that. It's not that fast. Or it's stuck there. That is All right. way more clean than the other. Yep. Alright. Shall we see if it works? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Can I put it in? The batteries? Yeah. Sure. You can put that down. Yep. Hey, look at that! And it works! Cool. Okay. Yeah. That Beautiful. That works. Okay. It's like a flower. You know what? We can do lots of art with that. We absolutely can. This. So I'm going to unplug the soldering iron and move like it away because now we know that it's successful. Alright, can you cut me off a piece of the electrical tape, How please? Big? Uh, about that long? Oh, this one. Yeah, long enough to wrap around this bundle of fiber optics. Now, let's see if this works. Totally works. So this is a gel of Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue, yeah. But if you want a different color than black, you can use a different color. Because we're just using... Sure. Them. Yeah, the, the color of the tape doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. difference. It's just meant to kind of block the light from the LED a little bit. And hold it in place. And there we go. There's the first one. The first bundle of five. I think that's great. So yeah, we can have this feeding into a whole bunch of little windows. What do you think, kiddo? Good. You know what I think? No. I think it's your bedtime. No. <laughs> we totally recommend doing this at home. It's very, very cool. Yeah, we like it. And it seems to be working well uh, for five bucks, and we're not even done. I think we're in pretty good shape. Oh, you did another one. 
You did another one and I didn't even notice. Way to go. A tiny one. Yes. Alright. All we need to do is grow the data. So thanks for watching. We'll be doing some more on this. We'll actually get this into a model sooner rather than later. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you have any questions uh, about the, uh, the $5 fiber optic lighting, then go ahead and ask uh, in the comments below. Um, until then, go to the dollar store, buy some stuff, make a thing. Something. I have no idea what you're going to make. Bye. Now, if you look at behind the scenes videos or photos of people doing... If you look at behind the scenes videos or uh, photos of people doing really nice model kits, they generally... Okay, I gotta put the cat down. <laughs>